Good morning. It's been a it's been a minute, hasn't it, since I've been on here. Anyway, I just thought today we could talk about image compression. Um, image compression, if your images on your website are too large, it can definitely affect the speed and performance of your website, um, and people can drop off. So what are some easy ways that you can do that? Um, so we're going to go through that real quick. So I just ran a speed test of um, Kevin Kluth's no, not Kevin Kluth. Yeah, Kevin Kluth. Uh, so, do, 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 yes, of his website. And his first bite time, they uh, now are recommending crazy, crazy fast first bite time. His is actually pretty good at, um, at two seconds. But they are actually wanting you to be at 0.5 milliseconds now. But that's pretty costly to get a, a web server that a host that's going to do that but where could he do that he could get some uh um to speed up his website he could definitely compress some of his images so if you click on here we'll see all the images that could be compressed and so i just opened one of them right here right here here we go so this is one of his images um so I use a program called JPEG Mini um, on my Mac. I'll pull it over here. So this is JPEG Mini, and this is a free trial. You get a, a ton of uh, free photos to compress. Um, it, it works pretty slick. So you just take the picture um, and, and drag it in there. And then it's going to compress it. Now you can change. So I have it resized to medium. We don't want to do that. We want this to be the original size. So it doesn't actually make the photo smaller. Um, so let's do it one more time. Okay, so we saved some space there. Now what's nice about JPEG Mini is it compresses it and you have zero quality loss. So um, unless you tell it to lose quality, but you can, uh, that's the main benefit is that you can have a really sharp, beautiful picture um, without any quality loss. So let me pull the picture open here. This is a uh, stock art that Kevin's using from Shutterstock. Um, we've got that. That's and then then we have the one that I made medium sized, and they both see even both look pretty good. Um, even the one I made medium. So let's see the difference here between the two um we'll do the get info oh, let me pull this over here for you so this one is 246k and this one is they're both the same size okay so 246k the original file The original file here, get info, was one meg. One meg. Now, your whole front page should be no bigger than one meg. So if you have a photo on your website that's one meg, you're just killing your site speed. So we took that all the way down to 200K. Now, these are almost probably everybody here is using a baseline JPEG, but Progressive JPEGs on your website is what you should be using. So um, I want to show you how to check. So this little website right here, and I will put it into um, the comments, but this is how you check to see if you have a progressive or baseline JPEG. So we'll choose uh, this one, and it's not progressive. So what do we do? We need to make it a progressive JPEG so that it loads quicker on our web page. Um, and we can do that through this nifty little program right here, Optimizilla. Um, works really great. So we're going to take, which one is the one that we optimize? I need to get rid of it's not the one that says copy, so it's this one right here. Okay, so we're going to upload it. Now it will compress it as well. Let's get on here. Um, and you can lower the quality. 
so you can progress it, you know, you can crush it even more. Or you can just keep it at 100% without crushing it. And But it, the difference is it goes from a baseline JPEG to a progressive one, which has to do with how it's loaded um, and your load speeds. So, but there's no reason on a picture like this why we couldn't bring the quality down and crush it even more. 98%. Um, let's, let's try to go to like 89 and apply and see how it looks. Um, I mean, that looks pretty great. We're not losing. It's not somebody's face. You could probably even go a little bit lower. Let's try 85. So we're definitely losing a little quality, but at this size, it still looks great. So um, let's apply that and then we'll download it. Okay, and now that brings this file here, Shutterstock, it makes it mini, it says mini there. Um, and we'll get our info on it. It is now a progressive JPEG that is 180K. You went from one meg to 180K and now you have a progressive JPEG. So let's test it to make sure it really is a progressive JPEG. So choose file, the mini, choose, and look, it's a progressive JPEG. So all of these things, if you go, that's a lot of steps, but if you do that for every single photo on, your, on the main page of your website, it's going to load a lot faster. So um, I'm in the process of doing, I, ha, I have not made mine progressive JPEGs yet on my website. And I'm in the process of doing that right now. So that's our tip of the day. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, and if you have anything to share, let's, let's keep this going. All right, guys. Thanks.